All right, guys. It is a windy, cool summer day here in the end times in paradise. Here on this uh, pleasant Friday morning, July 27th, 2018. So, uh... I'm going to be doing my ecological meltdown roundup rant. We're going to tag team with Sister Sandy on that later. So what I'm in the middle of is just going through the mainstream media doom and gloomer headlines of the day here in Paradise uh, in upstate New York here on Friday morning, July 27, 2018. So this is part two of the mainstream media Doomer headlines. So I just wrapped up part one, which was all climate change. All climate change. And uh, so we're now going to do some flotsam and jetsam Doomer headlines from the mainstream media. And speaking of flotsam and jetsam, wow, that's the latest news from the plastic bottle front. <clears throat> every minute, every minute, one million plastic bottles are bought in the world. No shit, Sherlock. Every single minute. I guess 24 hours a day, 365 days a year is what they're talking about here. Every minute, one million plastic bottles are bought all over the world, most of which are used once and only for a few minutes, warned the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources in the shithole country of Mexico. Hmm. In contrast to the time of use, you know, about five minutes, this material can take up to 500 years to be degraded. No shit, Sherlock. The bottles are only part of the problem of the plastics that ends up in the oceans affecting marine life, where in addition, Two bottles, bags, straws, glasses, plates, and an infinity of products that daily are used for a few minutes also arrive. Yes, um, according to the UN, 50% of all plastic produced on this planet is designed to be used one time and then disposed of. And the estimate now uh, for 2018 is that around 13 million tons of plastic are dumped into the world's oceans every year, which directly affects biodiversity, the economy, and potentially human health. No shit, Sherlock. And by 2050, we can look forward to 12 billion tons of plastic waste in landfills. Dee dee dee, but don't worry, Walt Disney World is on the case. Hmm. Disney Corporation plans to eliminate plastic straws from its properties by 2019. Caution, detective, and take precautions. <clears throat> yes. There you go, the Walt Disney Company has announced its plans to eliminate single-use plastic straws and plastic stirrers at all its owned and operated locations around the world by 2019. So let's get the official quote from one of the 
well, I, I won't call Disney Corporation one of the single biggest planet eaters on the planet, but it is probably, certainly, uh, one of the top planet eating uh, entertainment corporations on the planet. And my guess is that Disney probably sells about uh, a million uh, single-use plastic bottles probably, what, every two or three days. Quote, eliminating plastic straws and other plastic items are meaningful steps in our long-standing commitment to environmental stewardship. These new global efforts help reduce our environmental footprint at Disney and advance our long-term sustainability goals. Alright, let's see. Let's go now to the shithole state of Florida. Florida beaches littered with dead sea turtles. Scientists blame red tide. Uh, at least 19 Kemp's Ridley sea turtles, the most endangered sea turtle on the planet, have been found on southwest Florida beaches as part of nearly 100 sea turtles, many of which are endangered, have washed up on southwestern Florida beaches since October. Um, marine scientists are blaming the mass mortality on the current red tide bloom, which has been the longest continuous bloom in more than a decade. Jesus. Uh, says turtle hugger Kelly Sloan, it's really disheartening. Yes. Anyway, from the shithole state of Florida, Let's just go look around uh, what is our planet eater in chief up to this week. And I've already had uh, several reports on this uh, about Donald Trump's uh, just all and just flat out attack on the Endangered Species Act. Uh, Time magazine, according to their analysis, the in the Endangered Species Act is criticized, you know, by Donald Trump for its cost, but it generates more than one trillion dollars a year. Um, as the Trump administration prepares a set of regulatory changes that could dramatically undermine the law, Supporters are highlighting the economic benefit of protecting endangered species. Hmm. Anyway, what else? Let's see. From endangered, well, this is all part of that. Scientists warn Trump's border wall would be a disaster for wildlife. No shit. A scathing new scientific report condemns President Donald Trump's proposed border wall as a major threat to animal and plant life. Yes, a wall and fences along the U.S.-Mexico border already have significant consequences for wildlife. This is the, all, the existing segments. Uh, already have significant consequences for, uh, for wildlife and Trump's plans to build a continuous wall will, quote, threaten some of the continent's most biologically 
diverse regions, says a report published in the journal Bioscience. Uh, the report's authors include famed biologists Paul Ehrlich and E.O. Wilson. There you go. All right. From border walls to trophy hunting, Trump administration quietly awards dozens of lion trophy permits to hunters and GOP donors. No shit, Sherlock. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has issued more than three dozen permits for hunters to bring back lion trophy parts from Zimbabwe and Zambia. Yes. Um, 33 hunters have received a total of 38 lion trophy permits and more than half of those hunters donated to Republican, to Republican lawma lawmakers. Yes. Uh, quoting the report from from uh, Safari Club International, these permits show that the current administration not only has loosened restrictions on lion hunting, but is rewarding political supporters. No shit, Sherlock. All right. What is going on in uh, Ceuta, Spain, I guess? Hundreds, hundreds of African migrants storm border fence into Spain's, um, Afri Spain's enclave of Ceuta. Uh, and the incident follows warnings over the country's ability to cope with rising migration numbers. About 800 people have tried to enter Europe by storming a border fence that separates Morocco from Spain's North African enclave of Ceuta, according to Spanish uh, police. The incident on Thursday followed renewed warnings about Spain's ability to cope with the rising number of migrants and refugees who have been arriving on its southern coast. Uh, Spain's Guardia Seville said 800 people from Sub-Saharan Africa rushed the fence at 6.35 a.m. using shears and hammers to smash the high razor wire-topped barriers and attacked police officers. No shit, Sherlock. Anybody who doesn't uh, understand what societal collapse uh, looks like in the 21st century. Okay, uh, let's go down to the shithole country of Kenya. Only rhino to survive Kenyan relocation is attacked by lions. The only rhino to survive a bungled relocation to a Kenyan wildlife park has now been attacked by lions. Ten out of the eleven black rhinos being moved by state wildlife services last month died in their new home in Savo East National Park. Hmm. Uh, a Apparently, after succumbing to stress and poisoning from drinking salty water, and now, unfortunately, 
the 11th rhino has been attacked by lions. He, he is still alive and is being treated uh, by veterinarians. Quote, quoting this rhino hugger, it is a sad situation. What, what we were we just hearing about the, uh, the sea turtles? What did we hear? Oh, it is really disheartening. We have disheartening sea turtles, sad rhinos. Okay. Well, you know, I was just reporting yesterday how uh, we were seeing, as I predicted in my No Shit Sherlock uh, annual uh, Eco Nazi predictions, we are seeing an ever-increasing number of environmental activists fighting the planet eaters showing up dead. Well, I, I guess what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So, from uh, the shithole country of Ethiopia, construction manager of Ethiopia's Nile River Dam found dead. The construction manager of a controversial dam being built on the Nile River in Ethiopia has been shot dead, police said Thursday, while the country's prime minister said he was, quote, utterly shocked. Yes, engineer uh, Segmanu Bakeli died due to gunshot wounds at the back of the neck. I guess uh, this little war goes both ways. I wonder how utterly shocked uh, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia would be if uh, some environmental activist had fighting this goddamn dam had been shot dead. <clears throat> Okay, let's go over there to the shithole country of Vietnam. Vietnam to limit, limit waste imports as shipments build up at its ports. <clears throat> Vietnam will stop issuing new licenses for the import of waste, otherwise known as garbage, and crack down on illegal shipments of thousands of containers of paper, plastic, and metal scrap um, building up at the country's ports, raising concerns about the environment. Waste imports into Vietnam and other Southeast Asian countries have risen dramatically since the Chinese government banned the entry of several types of solid waste from the beginning of this year. And uh, guys, uh, th th you're just going to see this. Uh, obviously, uh, a a as this unsurmountable uh, tsunami of this uh, shit uh, builds up all over this planet. Uh, th this, this is one bag of waste uh, from a doomer chick eco-Nazi uh, as, as we run out of places to, to put uh, all of this crap uh, more and more countries are, are going to say we have enough of our own goddamn shit to deal with in our own fucking shithole countries. And where do you think this shit's going to end up? They're just going to start dumping it in the fucking oceans. We are completely buried uh, in our own shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, I guess this is literally the shithole country in, uh, in this case, Japan, home of the high-tech Lou, hopes basic toilets can save lives. Warning, warning, bullets. 
Yes. Japan may be famous for high-tech toilets, but one local firm is hoping a much more basic model can help solve deadly sanitation problems in developing countries. More than two billion people around the world do not have access to basic sanitation facilities. Da -da. Talking about being buried in our own shit. What is the latest? Let's go down to the shithole country of Bolivia. What is the latest uh, update of, Ro of Romeo the Frog? Bolivian water frog in lovelorn race against clock. Romeo the water frog, a social media star whose desperate need to mate has not been met. I guess there's two social media stars whose desperate need to mate has not been met, the other one being Hambo and Littletail. But uh, joining Hambo and Littletail, Romeo the Water Frog is now staring down extinction as stoically as an amphibian can. Romeo is the last known frog of his kind, a Sohuencus water frog, and he has been fruitlessly calling for a mate for years on end. Romeo, I know just how you feel, brother. Uh, I know what fruitlessly calling for a mate on social media feels like. Maybe some doomer chick frog can go uh, give Romeo a kiss before he goes extinct. But speaking of, of social media stars, I thought I had it bad with all of these age restrictions I get. We have some bad news out of Austin, Texas. YouTube deletes videos posted by Alex Jones's InfoWars and suspends alt-right channel from live streaming. Google's YouTube pulled down four videos posted by Alex Jones's ultra-right wing InfoWars for violating its policies banning hate speech and graphic content. YouTube's penalizing of InfoWars, a notorious source of conspiracies and misinformation, is the latest development in the ongoing challenge internet platforms face in trying to balance free speech with enforcing standards to block hateful and disturbing content. Yeah, such as, you know, mine was uh, age-restricted, my coffee brewing video as, uh, as apparently inducing minors to, uh, I don't know, to drug abuse or whatever. Anyway, from Alex Jones, the shithole city of Austin, Texas, to... Kentucky, the shithole state of, well, I guess it's the shithole state of Florida, but uh, talk, featuring some hillbillies from Kentucky. Drunk Kentucky tourists stashed six baby sea turtles in hotel trash can. These are loggerhead sea turtles classified as threatened under the Endangered Species Act and now these clueless fucking morons uh, you know so these clueless morons are looking at some serious deep shit for violating the Endangered Species Act by throwing six baby loggerhead turtles in the garbage while uh, Donald Trump wants to throw the entire 
Endangered Species Act into the garbage. <clears throat> Two more. Let's go over there to uh, the shithole country of Egypt where Cairo Zoo denies its zebras are really donkeys with painted stripes. Although it's pretty, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the computer ate, my, uh, ate the photo. It really is hilarious. If you haven't seen these photos of these zebras, uh, a zoo in Cairo is allegedly showing its true stripes by passing off painted donkeys uh, as zebras. Yes, uh, anyway, so the, these people, they literally went and, and got a couple of uh, white donkeys and painted black stripes on them. <laughs> and apparently this is not the first time uh, that zoos have tried this. But we're going to wind up on, uh, we're going to leave our own shithole planet and go to right now, not the shithole planet, planet uh, WR67C, where we read the headline, Distant Planet Terrified. It may be able to someday support human life. We're going to come to you from the shithole uh, constellation Vela claiming that the mere thought is an absolute nightmare, WR67C, a terrestrial planet from the distant Gamma Valorum star system, expressed its profound terror Wednesday at the possibility of one day gaining the capacity to sustain human life. The 5.2 billion year old celestial body, which is located roughly 1100 light years from Earth, said that for both its own sake and that of its entire solar system, it can only hope to never possess the necessary planetary characteristics and chemical elements needed to support either a deep space human outpost or, more gravely, an entire colony of humans. And of course, that headline coming to us from The Onion this week. Yes, The Onion, the single most honest uh, news organ talking about the end times, yes, and the, the very thought of humans uh, taking this model to the, to the stars. But anyway, it's getting to be a beautiful day here in the end times. And I'm getting hungry, so uh, the little dog and I are going to enjoy some factory farmed chicken. And then I'm going to head down and see what uh, Sister Sandy is up to today. Uh, and we're going to bring you a tag team ecological meltdown roundup rant this afternoon. If you haven't had enough doom and gloom already, Smoke them if you got them, guys. We are so fucked. There's little dog. Are you ready for some factory farm chicken? Bye, guys.